Well, it's Tacos Week. Looking at prayer and the principles of prayer this week. T-A-C-O-S, Thanksgiving, Adoration, Confession. Today is others. Today is others. I much prefer, <laughs> prefer the older paradigm of I am third, which says God is first, others are second, I am third. I prefer that old, older paradigm than to the newer one, I am second. Uh, to me, at least, it's more biblical. Uh, when we talk about praying for others, uh, there's a few things just to mention. One would be 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 23. 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 23, where Samuel the prophet says, Far be it from me uh, to sin against the Lord by failing to pray for you. Uh, let me encourage you, uh, whenever it is that you commit to pray for someone, uh, get your journal, make a note. The short pencil is better than a long memory. Uh, let them know. Um, Remind yourself, don't just let them know you're going to pray for them, but remind yourself that to pray for them and please do so. Uh, in 1 Timothy chapter 2, it's one of the four kinds of prayer that Paul lists. He says, I exhort then, first of all, that prayers, requests, intercessions with thanksgiving be made for all people. Um, to intercede is simply to pray on behalf of another. Ask God to act on behalf of another person. You are praying for them, asking God to work on their behalf. Um, it's important, and it's an important aspect of prayer and praying. Um, sometimes when uh, I'll be dining out, I may be eating with someone, maybe it's a business lunch or breakfast, and uh, the server brings our food, and I thank them. And I'll, many times I'll say, my friend and I here are about to uh, say a blessing for the food. Uh, is there anything that you can pray, we can pray for you about? More times than not, they say yes. Um, and they'll say, my mom is sick, or my dad needs a job, or my brother's having trouble in school, or something. It's kind of interesting, I guess, in human nature that, you know, uh, it's easier to point out uh, a prayer need for someone else than for, your, for, for oneself. But nevertheless, they'll share something, and we will pray for them. By the way, if you want to try that, uh, I encourage you to do it. It can be a blessing. Uh, but if you're going to, at the opening, uh, ask if you can pray for them, then at the, at the end of the meal, be sure and leave a good tip. It's very, very important. Um, but it is that concept of praying for other people. Intercession, uh, uplifting the needs of others. Uh, one of the great examples of praying for others we find in the uh, letters of Paul, uh, and particularly in those prison epistles, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Philemon, not only does he give thanks, but he prays spiritually for them that they might understand the Lord, that their love may grow, that they may have spiritual insight and wisdom, always for some end, uh, that they might know Christ better or that they might live a life worthy of the Lord, whatever it might be. Uh, so we have an example of the Apostle Paul praying for other people. And so we can follow his example as we pray for others. Let me encourage you to make that a part of your whole prayer acrostic, your daily prayer life. Not only do you give thanksgiving, do you praise the Lord, adoration, not only do you confess, be honest with God, but also have those intercessions, praying on behalf of other people. And remember, 1 Samuel 12, 23, far be it from me to sin against the Lord by failing to pray for you. God bless you. Have a good evening.